Hello everybody, welcome back to the Never Ending Backlog. I'm your host, Zach, and today we are playing Gunman Clive, released in 2014, developed and published by Horberg Productions, an indie Swedish developer. Creators of Gunman Clive 2, makes sense, and Mextermination, oh my gosh, Mextermination Force. Also available on the Switch. And Gunman Clive was also released on the 3DS, which is pretty cool too. Uh, it's an action, indie, side-scrolling game with very positive reviews. It is $1.99. That's not even on sale. That's just how much it costs. So, pretty great deal. And uh, it supports controllers. So, let's just jump right into Gunman Clive. I missed the last couple of days because the weather's been a little finicky. Um, so, yeah. But let's uh, jump right into the game. Let's have some fun with this. I am not going to do... Um, screen or sharing my face on this one primarily because as mentioned in the video or the trailer for this game there's a lot of brown color and uh it's a uh, very bright on my face so it looks like i'm in a desert which i guess is appropriate with this game but uh let's just uh, get started do they show what miss johnson looks like Miss Johnson. I've seen Clive enough in the trailers. <laughs> are you saving Clive? Yes, you are. That is awesome. All right. Okay. Uh, arrow keys, move it, not WSAD. Mouse does not seem to do anything. I don't know. Oh, let's find out what the buttons are real quick. Here we go. Left, right, up, down. Jump is Z, X. All right, well that's easy enough. <laughs> pew pew. I like the art style. You can't move and shoot at the same time though. You do stop. That's, that, that's a little frustrating. Oh no! Alright, duck. Or chicken. Doesn't look like I can aim up either, so. That seems unfair, considering that they can aim up. I like the sound effects though. Very uh, old school retro shooter game. That's gotta be a duck, right? Oh, goodness, I'm terrible at this game. Anything up here under? <laughs> I like how you do the Princess Peach uh, in Mario, where you just kind of hover down. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I like that. Okay, there we go. Get this one going. There you go. Birthday cake, probably for help. There you go. This is the way to fire up. There we go. This will do it. This will do it. Here he goes. Bam. More cake. Oh, sorry, dog. Uh, that's going through my hair, but you know, whatever. I guess they come back. Yep, sure do. I was gonna say that gap seemed up. Oh, jeez. Quite far. Oh, I'm killing ducks, so it seems kind of unnecessary, but yeah. We got down here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you just can shoot on the ladder going over. That's nice. Here we go. Got that Mario dynamic here for the platformer or Sonic or really anyone. Anyway. 
Well, I mean, if they come back, it really doesn't make much sense to go after everybody. Do I get five? Nope. Oh. See, that's, that's not fair. I should have been able to keep the other one. Yeah, I always say time is the only thing you're really worried about in this game. So with that being said... I just got chopped off. Gonna have some bosses here. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. Yep. Well, that's nice. Oh. Like this uh, developer didn't like uh, winged creatures as much. Or, or, or dogs, I guess. Or canine type creatures. Wolves, coyotes. Did these track? Sure do. That's handy. Oh. Don't jump for that. Ooh, I missed that checkpoint a lot. to give you quite a bit of health. I can imagine this game doing quite well on the Switch or even, the, like I mentioned, the 3DS, which is a really cool platform for indie developers. I mean, that's, come on. Whenever I see saw blades like that, it immediately reminds me of um, Battle Bots from the 2000s. I guess they have it out now, but kind of that vintage Battle Bots where you build the robots to battle each other. I guess I really didn't need explaining, but yes. <laughs> a, a, a hair? I think of Monty Python. Being able to float makes this game definitely easier, which is nice. They kind of trap you a little bit there with the uh, You're trying to walk. No, get off me. Oh no. <laughs> Slow motion fall. Kind of reminds me of uh, also Peach in uh, Super Smash Brothers when she's falling off the edge or anything and trying to get back up. And it's like, nope. Good soundtrack, though. I mean, you're definitely not going to forget the keys. There's. There are six of them. And even like up. Up doesn't do anything, though. Sorry, if I were to walk it. Last time it kind of stuck me. There we go. Oh my gosh. 
part is frustrating. Right there should have been a checkpoint. I think that's what bothers me. Is if I leave off the screen, that should be the checkpoint. Sign must be a boss or not, or yes, definitely yes. Minigun, a rockabilly theme here. Okay. Triggered. Okay, so now he's completely changing up his skill set. See, and that's, I think that's the part that bothers me the most, is that the hovering. Come on. I like the fact the boss does mix up the skill set, which is nice. But let's be honest. The fact that the boss is probably about 20 times harder than anything that's happened so far in the level. Okay. Oh, see, like that part. I can't run. I'm pretty much stuck. Like, right there, I... Like, okay. Beat him, but, yeah, I don't know. There's a point of games where it's just frustrating difficult, or actually because it's challenging difficult, and I think this game is on that fine line where it's like, mm, it's just be trying to become frustrating. It's not trying to become challenging. I didn't want to kill a horse. What the heck, game? Ooh, that almost got me there. Oh, that's cool. Call this one good for the evening. Beat the first boss, which is good. Makes me happy. And uh, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll leave it at that.
So anyway, that was Gunman Clive, uh, like I said, released in 2014 by Horberg Productions, a Swedish indie game. Uh, overall, I think it was a fun game. It, it, the controls were good. For the most part, they're a little soft, a little bit here and there. Um, they're easy to learn. Uh, it does, like I said, it is Xbox 360 controller compatible, which I always love it when games do that. It's also two dollars. So the art style alone, in my opinion, is worth two dollars, which I think that's really cool. It's definitely unique and it's definitely different, which I like that. Um, I'd be curious to know if it's more on the Switch or less, or maybe the same price. Could be any of them. I don't know. Um, but overall, I think it's overall it's a pretty good game. Um, I would definitely recommend it for those that like side scrollers, have Western themes or if you just want to support an indie developer which i am always about so gunman clive on steam check it out two dollars on the switch on the 3ds if you still have one i hope you do they're great systems and uh yeah thank you for joining us this episode of never ending backlog we'll be back tomorrow it'll be a late night one tomorrow but uh i should be able to get it done tomorrow if not maybe i'll pump out some this weekend in general or something but uh, anyway have a great night and i will talk to you soon